Happy birthday, Film Fan 0599. Woo! That's right. Today is Film Fan's birthday. And since this is a film that he's been wanting to know my thoughts on for a while, I figured it's finally time to review The Matchbreaker. Buddy, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Matchbreaker. So, The Matchbreaker is an independent romantic comedy film directed by Kayla Vitter, as well as the story being written by Kayla Vitter and Wesley Elder. The film stars Wesley Elder, Christina Grimmie, Oscar Chow, Olin Rogers, and many others. So, The Matchbreaker is about this man named Ethan who is is aiming to have the perfect relationship. One day Ethan gets fired from his job and so this random woman comes up to Ethan and asks him to actually break up a girl's relationship which is her daughter because she disapproves of this girl's boyfriend and Ethan gets paid for it. But what was gonna be a one-time thing actually ends up being a full-time job for Ethan and so Ethan now becomes this matchbreaker where parents that don't approve of their daughter's boyfriend Ethan has to break that relationship apart. Ethan gets a job to go ahead and break up Emily's relationship. So with that starting, Ethan now has to balance hopefully getting with Emily who Ethan went to elementary school with and he has had a crush on since and still continuing this whole matchbreaking business. So The Matchbreaker is a film I was very interested in and it is a film I was going to check out even if I wasn't uh, doing this for film fans birthday I still was going to eventually check out this film because I was interested in in it and I did want to see it too because unfortunately this is Christina Grimmie's only movie. This is the first and last time we're going to see her in a film. This sounded like it had a lot of potential to be a very well-made romantic comedy because I'm always down for a good romantic comedy. And luckily, The Matchbreaker is definitely that. This is a pretty good romantic comedy film. The writers knew how to handle this film. Wesley Elder, who was the star of this film, he wrote the story for this film along with Caleb Vetter, and you could tell that he had a lot of passion for this concept, and how the storyline was handled I just thought was just really clever, it felt very genuine, and there's actually a lot of really good comedy. This is a funny film. A lot of the humor definitely worked for me. Like who would have thought that what was what was supposed to be a one-time thing ends up being a full-time business. I just think the idea of that is actually very funny. I did also really like his roommate Sam. I thought Sam was a good character. I really liked the actor that played him. There's also Tolly who is in charge of the apartment that Ethan and Sam live in and I really love this character because even though he's not really in the movie that much whenever he does show up he's very funny he just loves Ethan and Sam's dog like he just gushes over this dog and wants to spend time with this dog whenever he visits Ethan and Sam's apartment a lot of the characters in this film I did really care about especially with the storyline dealing with Ethan and this waitress named Trisha I thought these two were such an adorable couple they are one of the couples that Ethan is involved in as far as the matchbreaking goes so I really did buy into that subplot of the film. Wesley Elder, he acted very well in this film. He has that quirk to him that I really did appreciate and he did a very good job of just playing this pretty quirky character. This character that expects nothing but perfection from this dream girl. And of course, Christina Grimmie, may she rest in peace. Uh, we lost her way too soon, unfortunately. But I have to say, this being her only film, she honestly did do a very good job. And I would have loved to see her do more movies because just by judging this one movie, she was wonderful. Honestly, I could have seen her acting career go 
farther from here if she were still here, of course. But, you know, for this one film that she was in, I did think that she acted so well. She added so much charm to the character of Emily. I have to say that Emily and Ethan, the characters, they really do have very good interactions with each other. What I did really like about The Matchbreaker is that it does have a good message about how there's no such thing as the perfect girl or there's no such thing as the perfect guy, but the imperfections are what makes us human. The direction by Caleb Vedder is actually very good. The cinematography it's actually quite beautiful. It's actually very well lit because you could sometimes watch an indie film and the cinematography isn't like the greatest, but no, with The Matchbreaker, it may be an indie film, but it does have a very good cinematography to it. Uh, really great cinematography. What I actually did respect about The Matchbreaker is that Ethan actually doesn't feel good about this whole matchbreaking business. Like, he actually feels legitimately guilty. Something plays on later on the film that definitely shows that he's not a bad person. He was never a bad person from the start, actually. He was just doing this just because he needs to get the money so he could be able to pay his rent. But even when he was doing all this stuff, you could just feel this guilt inside him. Now, there's only some problems that I did have with the matchbreaker. There's not a whole lot. There's just some, but I will say that you can definitely predict where the storyline is going. I mean, you know, when you meet Emily and Ethan is trying to break off Emily's relationship with her boyfriend, you know there's going to be a little connection with these two. It was definitely very obvious that these two are going to somehow have a connection in the film. Some of the humor didn't work either, to be honest, and it didn't really work because I felt like sometimes the film got a little too awkward. Like, I actually was sitting there awkward at times because I felt like the timing wasn't exactly the best, and I think it could have been better. And the pacing does drag a little bit for me, and I think it normally drags whenever the comedic timing didn't necessarily work for me. And the last problem I have with this film, and it's honestly my biggest problem is actually the character Veronica. I was so annoyed by this character. I really could not stand her. Every time she popped up on screen, I was all like, oh no, 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 please, no Veronica, no Veronica. I, I really did not care for the Veronica character, to be honest. I could see why the writers did add her in here you know, to be like a plot device for Ethan, but I just really did not like that character. Overall, The Matchbreaker is a cute romantic comedy. This is a sweet movie. This is a funny movie. It's a very well written movie. It's very well directed. Cinematography looks absolutely gorgeous. And the movie does have a good message about how nothing is perfect in life. There's no such thing as that perfect girl or that perfect guy. I'm gonna give The Matchbreaker three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Matchbreaker. And I would also love to say happy birthday to FilmFan0599 once again. This review is a birthday present for him. If you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is Twenty Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!